Uh, hi everybody. Uh, this is my first attempt at a honest to God YouTube type video. Uh, I'd like to say hello to everybody. Uh, Havoc, Mick, Stu, Banger, uh, Nautilus, Thurbs, Yabo, Natalie, Natalie, whoever shows up and takes a look at this. JB, Flintheart, who's don't know who shows up for a lot of this stuff and probably most of you don't care. Uh, but this is kind of a response to uh, Havoc's visit to Puka Uh This is our sort of equivalent, at least in the area here. This is um, Rock Island Arsenal. Arsenal's been here since 1863. Obviously during the Civil War it was founded. The, there was originally an old fort here on the island, Fort Armstrong. And during the war, this is a Civil War, this is a prison camp. And there's Confederate Cemetery here. It's a national cemetery as well. Uh, during World War II, they built uh, tanks, artillery, and uh, today they pretty much build pretty much the howitzer capital of the world here. Uh, build gun mounts, armor kits, and the like. We have a nice little park here with some artillery, and the one you're looking at now is a 280 millimeter atomic cannon. Uh, built during the 50s, a handful of them built, shoot a several hundred kiloton shell, probably 15, 20 miles, which I suppose is all right until the wind blows back your way. And this is pretty much current production. This is a 155 millimeter howitzer, and this is pretty standard, uh, pretty standard all over the world, at least in the uh, world that uh, buys U.S. weapons. Uh, Kind of look around here. We've got, uh, oh, excuse me, We've got a little M22 Locust tank here, which is an air portable vehicle, uh, built during World War II, and not a big success because we didn't really have cargo planes big enough to carry them. Uh, so we just they'd sling them under the plane, which is really not a good way to, uh, well, move any kind of an armored vehicle. And behind that, and the one that got centered, this is a Sherman that was uh, knocked out during the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, if you close in on it here, you can probably, you know, you can just barely see above the pistol port where the uh, shell went in. Uh, obviously, this is probably about the way they took it off the battlefield. Yeah, smart guys, they didn't have the rails on them, but that way you could get up there and look down in there. But there's about 50 years worth of just junk, and everybody's used it as a litter box, so... And we have an Antos um, multiple recoilless rifle used uh, during Vietnam. Some anti-aircraft guns, artillery from all over the world. Uh, we have uh, some Soviet, some uh, you know American, a few German. Uh, and around down here, there's a lot of experimental howitzers, or maybe they use the same car uh, same gun but they maybe try um, self-propelled mountings or uh, a rough terrain mounting yeah, let's see if we can zoom back here uh, 105s 155s there's a nebelwerfer or fog tosser which I think would be a good name if I had a band I'd probably call them fog tosser uh, experimental weapons An American Calliope, 37 millimeter cannon. This would have been on the front of that Locust back there. You probably noticed there wasn't a main weapon, but this is very similar to what was used on the Stuarts as well. And here we have a early self-propelled. I believe this is a 155 howitzer. This has been about 1950 or 50s, early 60s. Kind of a basic design, yeah, 8 inch, 155. Uh, this was brought back during Gulf War One, Bump One, uh, BMP. And anybody wants to tell me what BMP stands for? That's right, very good. Boivaya Machina Pechota, Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Uh, like I said, brought back during Gulf War One, uh, Saddam 
well he leaves his shit laying around you know he's not going to be allowed to have it so um pretty good shape although it's pretty cramped inside i think uh, i know i wouldn't want to probably ride it across the island and over here we have a zsu 23-4 Zanitnia Samodnia Ustamovka, or something like that. Uh, 23, 23 millimeter, four barrels. Again, brought back during Gulf War I. Um, quite lethal, or at least rumored to be. Hard to say we was never able to make an anti-aircraft tank that would work. So, anyhow. Well, I see you've wasted about five and a half minutes going on six minutes of your time here so I think we'll go down and take a look at the small arms museum and I'll try to put these on sometime uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the visit and um, nice day here so uh, thanks for stopping by and we'll catch all you later ciao